purpose for creation of the heavens, the earth, and every item, every living being in this universe. وَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمْ لَاعِبِينَ There is no lie, there is no gain in creation of God. It was not for amusement, there was a reason. There is a final destination for this life. أَلَا إِلَى اللَّهِ تَصِيرُ الْأُمُورِ إِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ إِلَى رَبِّكُمْ تُرْجَعُونَ That God is the, the final destination of this life. Then we learn from the Quran that there are four types of life. Yani Arbat Anwa Al Hayat Al Quraniya. Al Hayat al Nabatiya, the first kind of life is Wallahu ambatakum min al arde nabata. This is like uh, amazing that we as human beings we were growing as nabata, like a vegetable, like plant. And this is the life of plant, the life of like vegetable that grows up. Of, of the of the earth this is the the beginning of journey that from teen from uh, death from dirt turns to an nabat al hayat al nabati and number 2 al hayat al haywaniya wal ladina kafaru yatamattauna wa ya'kuluna kama ta'kulu al an'am there are people who deny the, the divine and their life is like animals. They enjoy this life and they think that the life is just an act of a short, just eating and drinking. Oh Prophet, let them just enjoy these petty pleasures in this life and let their uh, soul be dominated with their desires. So they enjoy their like animal life or cattle life. رُبَّمَا يَوَدُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ كَانُوا مُسْلِمِينَ At that day, final Resurrection, they say, oh, we wish we were Muslimin. We wish we submitted our souls to our Lord and we did not deny. Sallallahu alayka, ya Abu al-Hasan, ya Amir al-Mu'mineen. Indama gulta fama khuliqtu liyashgalani atlu tayyibat kal bahimat al-marbuta hammuha alafuha that I was not created to be just like other animals, that all I care is about what to eat and what to drink and care for my, my stomach. Al-Hayat al-Athalitha, Al-Hayat al-Insaniya, the third life of, kind of life in the Quran is human life. Ahyaynahu wa ja'alna lahu nooran yamshi bihi fi nas كَمَنْ مَثَلُهُ فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ لَيْسَ بِخَارِجِ And how do you think that those people who enjoy a human life, they are under the light of intellect? Do you think that they are like those people who live in total depth of darkness? You cannot compare these people. But the final, the highest, level of life in the Qur'an, Al-Hayat Al-Ilahiyya. That starts from وَنَّفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي That we became Ruhullah. Allah. We carry the Spirit of God. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا To be a student of the Creator. إِنَّ عَرَضْنَا الْأَمَانَةَ عَلَى السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَالْجِبَالِ 
they they rejected wa al insan that we became umanaullah the trustees of of the creator and even more inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa to be the khalifatullah the deputy of divine on this this earth of course god doesn't need khalifa it's not that god is in the heaven and he needs somebody to watch this stuff on the on the earth then he chose us he does he is everywhere right Khalifatullah means someone who represents the character of the Creator, the characteristics of Allah. And because of that, لَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ The respect, the honor, the dignity, the integrity that were given to human beings was based on Sabghatullah, Fitratullah, Ruhullah, Khilafatullah, Amanatullah these qualities made human being deserving the title of, of takreem deserving the title of masjud al-malaika that even the, the angels prostrated before before adam so al-hayat al-ilahiya al-hayat al-aqliya al-hayat al-tayyiba al-hayat al-akhlaqiya when a life is full of morality, dignity, intellect, obedience, submission to the will of the Creator. This is why Allah says, If you obey, then you receive that Al Hayat Al Tayyib, Al Hayat Al Ilahiya. When we are already ahya, right? He is talking to us. That means we already have hayat. We already are alive. But he is saying that he is giving us a new life that is a tayyibah. How we can get that life? How we can receive al-hayat al-ilahiyya? How can we receive al-hayat al al-insaniyya, al-hayat al-aqliyya, al-hayat al-akhlaqiyya? How we can fix our destination to be his kingdom? The Quran gives a very simple answer. Man amila salihan min dhakarin aw untha wa huwa mu'min falanuhiyannahu hayatan tayyiba. You are interested in hayat al-ilahiyah, the divine life, a perfect life, a successful life, a beautiful life, a blessing life. Two things, number one, amila, and then amana, your faith and your action. That is al-hayat al-ilahiyya, that we feel that inna lillahu wa inna ilayhi raja'oon. That this al-hayat al-dunyawiyya, the, the physical, the material life, is an instrument, is a means to that al-hayat al-ukhrawiyya. So the goal is al-hayat al ukhrawiyya the day that we meet with our Lord, the eternal life, that is the goal. But this temporary life is just a tool to get to that divine life. Zalika yaqul al-Quran wa tawakkal ala al-hayy alladhi la yamud. Anything else that we choose is not al-hayy alladhi la yamud, only Allah is a living eternal being anything that we carry is temporarily but if we connect it with Allah with the Creator then that becomes eternal so now we have a choice of al hayat al dunya or al hayat al ukhrawiya we are free to choose which one one person is to choose mata'u dunya but remember mata'u dunya qalil that is very little daru mamarrin wala daru mamarrin wala daru maqarrin hayat dunya is this mamar is just fast is so short is not stable fala taghurrannakum al hayat dunya make sure that you are not fooled with this dunya with this temporary temptations but brothers and sisters, when we talk about al-hayat al-dunyabiyya compared to al-hayat al-ilahiyya, hayat al-ukhrawiyya, that doesn't mean that we ignore the dunya. No, laysa lil-insani illa masa'a. 
We have to work hard. Amalu fasayar Allahu amalakum wa rasuluhu wal mu'minun. We still have to work hard because the Quran says, Sakhir alakum ma fi samawat wa ma fi al-ard jamiha. Take advantage of everything in the heavens and the earth. We didn't have NASA at that time. I mean, why Allah is Sakhir alakum ma fi samawat? We have no access to the samawat. We didn't know that what we can learn from sky, what we can learn from other planets. But Quran said it at that time. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ الْبَحْرَ لِتَجْرِيَ الْفُلْكُ بِفِيهِ بِأَمْرِهِ وَلِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Look at the seas, look at the ocean. That's سَخَّرَ لَكُمْ Take advantage. It work, working hard. And they are there to serve you. You know that now, despite of all this transportation and trains and, and planes and all the steel, the seas and the oceans and the, the shipping on the oceans is the, is the best and the most effective way of transportation. All this uh, uh, stuff that are all over the world from oil and other stuff and and every items in this world most of it go through the seas this is why now you see all the sudden a fight about the Strait of Hormuz because it's just little water over there and the whole world is getting nervous because of one strait that the Quran says سخر لكم الأنهار سخر لكم الشمس والقمر سخر لكم الليل والنهار وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا لا تحسوها the rivers the the sun the moon the time of day the time of night all these blessings that we cannot even count them they are there so when we say الحياة الدنيا بيا doesn't mean to ignore your share in this life. But the point is that this life, al hayat al dunya should be at the service, al hayat al ruhiyya at the service of al hayat al ilahiyya the divine life. This is why in Islam, paid so much attention to science, to civilization, to biology, to mathematics, to, to physics, to chemistry, to astronomy, to all of these sciences. Because Islam taught us that these issues matter. Didn't say, forget about dunya. Just go and pray 24 hours. No. This matters. Muallim Khunais is saying that Ra'ani Abu Abdullah al-Mam Sadiq alayhi salam wa qad ta'akhartu an al-suq. Muallah is saying that Imam Sadiq saw me that I was late to go and open my store in the, in the market, in the bazaar. فَقَالَ لِي أُغْدُ إِلَّا عِزِّكَ أُغْدُ إِلَّا عِزِّكَ Be fast, be serious, go and open your dukan, open your store. That is عِزُّك. That is dignity to have a job and to work hard and to have a halal income. مَا قَالَ أُغْدُ إِلَّا كَسْبِكَ He didn't say go and open your business. He said, Ughdu ila izzik. That is your izzah, that is your dignity. The Prophet said, Man saqa thalhatan aw sidratan fa ka'annama saqa mu'minan min dhama'in. Even the fact that you go and you give some water to a plant and you water the flowers in your backyard or anywhere, is like you are giving water to a woman who is thirsty. And we know the, the reward of satisfying a thirsty faithful or any human being from thirst. And the Prophet saying that when you gave water to a flower, to a tree, to a plant, you receive the same, the same reward. That means that Islam does pay attention to this dunya, to hard work, to education, to business, to prosperity. Because 
ومن طلب العلا من غير كد اداء العمر في طلب المحال if you are looking for highest level of dignity in your life you must work hard but if you want to go to bed from 7 p.m. till tomorrow like 10 a.m. and still looking for prosperity you are wasting your time you are asking for something impossible but again the point is that this work this business this material this physical life should be at the service of al-hayat al-ilahiyya aqbil ala nafsi واستكمل فدائلها فأنت بالنفس لا بالجسم إنسان يا خادم الجسم كم تشفي بخدمته أتطلب الربح فيما فيه خسران If you forget that your soul is your real life If you forget about your Lord If you forget about the Akhira If you forget about moral values then al hayat al maddiya doesn't mean anything. Alam wa annam al hayat al dunya laibun wa lahun wa zinatun wa tafakhurun baynakum wa takaturun fil amwal wal awlad. Dunya becomes a laib. That means like a laib. You know, laab al fam. This laab is just like some witness in our mouth. And that witness from mouth cannot meet our needs. If we are thirsty, the witness of mouth cannot help us. We need real water. And Allah is saying that this dunya becomes a larim, just a moisture of the mouth. And it's not the real answer. Sometimes say la'ibun wa lahwun and sometimes say lahwun wa la'ibun. The same thing. Amusement, game, gambling, empty, nothing. Sometimes Quran says kasarabin, mirage. That is fake. You think there is water, there is shining, there is like light, but it is not, it's not true. And this is why, brothers, in this world that Hayat al Ilahiyya is forgotten. And Hayat al Hiwaniyya is the matter. This is why the entire world in this mess. You see all this crisis and this confusion and casualties. Everybody is suffering because that point, that purpose, that meaning that we created for is lost and is forgotten. Look at the news every day, it's just fake news. Look at all the developments. Everywhere you see Sarab in Baqia, everywhere you see this mirage all over. It's a messy mirage. All of a sudden they are saying, oh, we have now we find the solution. The deal of century now. I said, what is the deal of century? Nobody knew till like a few days ago. They said, oh, this is a secret that nobody knew. Nobody knew what was the secret. And now they gather in, in Bahrain and they have all this festival in this wedding that for Palestine. But it's like a wedding that even the Palestinians are not there. A wedding that... There is no aris and no arus. What kind of heirs that doesn't have aris and arus? You don't have the bride and groom, but still you call it wedding. Oh, we want to give them $50 million. Okay. What if the, the Arabs and Muslims, they said, okay, we want to give $50 million to, to Israelis. Leave Tel Aviv. We give you $50 million. What about that? This is what they are telling to Palestinians. $50 million. And I wish even that was honest. There is no $50 billion. Nobody paid it. Nobody received it. Nobody promised it. All fake news. They just gathered in Bahrain not to help a Palestinian to, to attack more on Iran, right? The whole thing was about Iran, not about Palestine. So it's just like you are 
insulting someone like you have a child that says, okay give me this jewelry that you have give me jewelry I give you ice cream right I give you fries I give you popcorn I give you like ketchup I give you all of these candies I give you all of this hot dog I give you a donut I give you all of this thing give me that jewelry. but even that ice cream and donut and popcorn don't exist. I wish they. This is a big insult to the Palestinian that forget 70 years of occupation, forget about all this oppression and injustice. Leave your land, give your land, we give you some money. And they want them to come and give up everything. And at the end, they are not going to receive that $50 billion from Ben Salman, Ben Zayed. It's just laibun wallah, it's just ridiculous. Last Saturday I gave a credit to President when he said, let us make Iran great again. I hope he doesn't mean it like he said, let's make America great again. Now he wants to make Iran great again. And he said, let us make Iran wealthy again. The Iranians are so good people, they are so wise, they could target that American plane, plane with 38 people, Instead, they targeted just the, the drone, so that showed their, uh, you know, uh, wisdom. And he said that the things were ready 10 minutes before the war start. The airplanes in the air, the missiles are targeting sites in Iran, everything ready to start a huge war. 10 minutes before that, the president said, I canceled it. We don't know the details, we don't know what is right, what is wrong. And, Honestly, yeah. but, but you know, let's say it that way. So important that everything is ready to start a huge Jahannam, another Jahannam in the Middle East, and the president says, stop, stop. Why? Because I just heard that 150 people, Iranian soldiers are going to die. Oh, you didn't know it even till 10 minutes before that. So nice. So that means the president doesn't read them. Probably they gave him the report, but he never read it, right? Or he didn't listen to anybody explain, but all of a sudden, 10 minutes before, somehow he heard it. That's the good. I gave him credit for this, but then if you care for 150 Iranians that you don't want them to die, what about thousands and thousands of innocent people in Yemen are dying by the, the criminal kingdom of Saudi Arabia? American weapon! Why you don't care about that? And in Syria and, and in Iraq and everywhere else. So still I said, okay, that's good. You stop, you drop the war. You want a peace and negotiation. But two days later, again, another waves of sanction. Everybody is sanctioned. I thought that really a president is a good businessman. So far, so I don't want war, I'm just caring about business. If you care about business, there are 80 million population in Iran. That is a huge market for American products. Why you don't open a business, real business with them, instead of imposing sanction, that is foolish. That is a, is ABC of business. Instead of opening business, and you have such a huge market, you are putting sanction. And so, oh, I put the sanction not on people, on Said Khamenei. I don't want him to come to America. I put the sanction. You think that Khamenei is coming to to United States and you want to stop him? Or, you know, he has all this. You know, he has a Husseini and a masjid over there. And whatever he has is not his money. It's a nation, it's a country's property. So your sanction is hurting 80 million people that inflation goes up and they have to a minute later pay more for food or for medicine, for water, for everything. So all of a sudden, I said, no, I, I, I take my credit back. Brothers and sisters, we need to really think how we can change this culture. How can we be part of a solution? I mean, this photo of uh, father and his daughter, Oscar Alberto, 
who was trying to cross the river and come to United States. And now the father and the baby, both of them perished, they, they died. There are people in this country that are saying, okay, they were doing an illegal thing. That is their fault. Why they were trying to cross the river? They come to judgment right away. But there are so many people, and you could hear it in uh, democratic debates, that there are at least people of dignity that they don't judge right away. Where are those people to judge when in Syria and two, three million Syrian refugees, they enter Lebanon, a small country, a small country, and they were poor, and still they welcome the refugees, and after years, still they are taking care of them, giving the job and give them support. And now, for this guy, all of a sudden, oh, that is his fault. So what happened to justice? What happened to humanity? What happened to human conscience? What happened to human compassion? What happened to empathy? What happened to our humanity? We judge right away. We don't know where the hell this guy, Oscar, and his daughter are coming from. Just because we have our home and you know, safety and security and services. We don't care about the others because they oh, they, they are not my type, right? How the president said that that lady, E.J. Carroll, she was not my type. I mean, what kind of answer of president? And now talking about the other people, they are others, they are not our type. This is racism. And I'm glad that in this debate of last couple of nights, the issue of racism and discrimination matters. And we as Muslims must be part of the solution. And we must be very careful, brothers and sisters. You know, if one Muslim, one Arab is involved in fraud, illegal matter, it is not about just a fraud in the business. They turn it to Islamophobia. They turn it to a judgment against the entire community. I mean, you have like Jimmy Carter was talking today. He was saying that the presidency of Trump was a fraud. He said he was not legitimate to be president to begin with. Can you imagine? This is Jimmy Carter, former president of this country. Now he's talking about another president saying the whole thing was fraud, right? But still normal, you become president regardless. But when it comes to Muslim, it's not like that. If somebody can go to any position, any power through fraud, but because that is my type, it's okay. But if anything, you and I, even if we sell or buy an illegal cigarette, Two dollars, five dollars, that become a big issue. So we as Muslim community, Arab community, must be very, very careful that how we represent our, our values. And sometimes one wrong person is in an entire company does something wrong. And then they come and they close the entire company, they arrest everyone. And I was listening to an individual in our community that how his life and his family life, everything was destroyed. And this person was innocent. But one person in the entire company, out of his greed, he did something wrong and not everybody else was aware of that situation. And that became a problem for, for everybody. So we have to consider this that when we talk about al hayat al illahiya divine life, and we believe in what we say, Ya ayyuhal insan inna ka kadahun ila rabbika kathan fa mulaqi ila rabbika ruj'a ila rabbika al muntaha inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raja'oon. So we don't want to meet with Allah while our life is just 
الحياة الحيوانية الحياة النباتية no we want to enjoy حياة طيبة spiritual and and moral life that we work hard for our physical life but our physical life is there to help our spiritual life and anything in dunya that we do if that does not help us does not advance us in al hayat al ukhrawiya then we are a loser so remember anything that we do in this life should somehow helps us promotes us to be more advanced in al hayat al ukhrawiya in ridwanullah in jannatullah in liqa allah bismillah arrahman arrahim wal asr inna al insana lafi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat والتباصوا بالحق والتباصوا بالصبر وإلى الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله